Welcome to the TK Project. Oh wait, that's the uh, the wrong voice effect. I cut the front off. I added the new mask in there. Created the side holders for the tubing. I cut the front face off and decided to do something like this. I'm using this neat piece of plastic and I'm hooking it together like this. I've, I've assembled it to a certain degree. I've done a little bit more work as uh, the off camera. I've trimmed the back off. I've trimmed the back off here so that I can put the rest of the tubing around the back and uh, it all seems to be working. It's, uh, it's a bit snug on my head, but that's all right. I guess most people really won't be uh, wearing this helmet. Uh, the fun part is that you can wear it. it it's, the idea is that it's, uh, it's functional. So the first thing I did, you can see that there are some screws there, another one here. Um, I went ahead and bolted those into place so that it'll be nice and secure as well as that on there. The other thing that I did is I drilled a hole all the way through the front of this respirator so that that comes through the other side and it's all wired up. Okay, this is just kind of a reference shot, but I had an old weed whacker and I took the weed whacker apart. <laughs> There's the in engine, the motor of it. I might be able to do something with that. And then this right here is the flywheel that runs the whole thing. Well, I thought that would look pretty good inside of the respirator part of the mask. The, the, the flywheel and that flywheel will end up going right up in to the front of the mask. As you can see, there is some gapping in and around the respirator. It doesn't really look like it's very well sealed and uh, wouldn't work very good in a real life situation. So I've got this uh, window and door foam sealant. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, shake this up, spray it in there and uh, see how this works. By the way, it's hot and uh, it just rained for about 10 minutes, so there's all kinds of moisture out here too. I'm sure I look lovely. Well, not happy with the way that the foam turned out, so I decided that I would take a little break and we'll give this thing a once over with some paint. So, masking off the hose here, I mean, ideally I should have put the whole thing and painted it all before I assembled it. But the truth of the matter is, I had no idea what I was doing and how it was all going to come together. All right, and there it is, lightly dusted. Very nice. Okay, so here is the flywheel from the weed whacker. I've sanded off the edges here and rounded it, shaped it a little bit so it'll fit in here a little bit better. I've also drilled a hole in the back here so that I can weave the wire through 
and then we'll just put it right on in here. Just like so. And then I'm going to fix the wires in the back so that they'll stay attached. Kind of stinky. These little tusks.